Hey everybody, welcome to the Bacology YouTube channel. Here at Bacology, we don't just love our chickens, we love being as self-sufficient as possible in our day-to-day -day lives. That's why we love our Harvest Right freeze dry machine. We can make ourselves quick cooking meals from whole ingredients with no preservatives, not only for food storage, but for everyday life as well. We will be sharing the recipes we use to create ourselves healthy meals from our freeze dried ingredients, so hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are posted. Welcome to the second video in the Greek souvlaki freeze dry session. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconstitute all of your ingredients and you can make a uh, hero style pita, a Greek chicken bowl, and then of course eat your hummus with your zucchini chips. Let's get started. I'm going to start with instructions to reconstitute for putting your chicken into a pita. I'm starting with the chicken as it will take the longest to reconstitute, though if you cut your strips thin enough during prep, it will go quickly. When reconstituting chicken, I found that it does best when fully submerged with water. It keeps it from drying out. It took me about five minutes to fully reconstitute, but time will vary depending on how thick your chicken is. So go ahead and pour boiling water over your chicken and set aside. Next, we're gonna reconstitute our tomatoes and onion. To reconstitute the tomatoes, place them in a bowl and drizzle boiling water on them. You wanna go slowly. Half a tablespoon is probably going to be plenty. Um, I used a full tablespoon the first time and my tomatoes ended up a little bit soggy. So start at a lower amount and then work your way up. For the onion, I used a quarter cup of onions and added two tablespoons of water. The onions will float a bit, so use a spoon to stir and push them back down into the water. And then as soon as they're reconstituted, make sure you pour off the excess water so that they don't get soggy. The tzatziki sauce was flaky once it was freeze dried. You can run that through a food processor if you want more of a powder. Um, I don't think the flakes affected the outcome of the end product, so that's a personal choice. Also, I used full fat Greek yogurt. Um, I'm not a bit concerned about long-term storage of this. To reconstitute, you're gonna put in two tablespoons of powder to one tablespoon water and stir well. If you remember correctly from video one, my lemon rice was mushy because I used too much liquid when I cooked it in my Instapot. So my final product is clumpy. It's no big deal to me. It tastes really good, just a little bit mushy when it's reconstituted. But if you follow the instructions for less liquid in video one that I talked about, you shouldn't have a problem. Now to reconstitute this, you're gonna add half a cup of boiling water to one cup of rice and stir. It takes just a few minutes for this to reconstitute. I wanna show you another option for this meal. Perfect if you don't have pita bread, and that is to make a bowl. To do that in your lunch container, in a separate container, add half a cup of your hummus powder and two tablespoons of tzatziki powder then in a deep container, you're gonna add one cup of lemon rice, half a cup of chicken, one tablespoon of onion, and one tablespoon of tomato. When it's time to eat, you're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of water to the hummus and one tablespoon of water to the tzatziki sauce. Stir and set that aside. To the chicken mixture, add one cup of boiling water and stir. You'll wanna let that sit for about five minutes to be sure the chicken is well reconstituted. I actually added my water in the morning before I left for the office, then put it in the fridge until lunch. Popped it in the microwave for about a minute and it was good to go. I do wanna take a minute to tell you about these bowls I'm using. I'm sure somebody's gonna ask. I found these on Amazon. I like them because they have an inner tray that sits above the main compartment. This allows me to keep sauces separate from my main meal. I just wanted to show you an image of what they look like empty and how that tray stacks in there. All right, lastly, if you're just wanting to have a snack or a lunch with your hummus with zucchini chips, this is super simple. Just add a half a cup of hummus powder to one 
quarter cup of water and stir. It will thicken up fairly quickly and reconstitute very quickly. If it's too thick, just add a little bit of water at a time and stir until it's the right consistency. And then just use those zucchini chips as a scoop to eat those up. I want to thank you for joining me today to learn about these freeze-dried recipes. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos, and I'll see you again soon.